Hey Cancers, welcome to your reading for March. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Um, to my lovely loyal subscribers and channel members, welcome back. Okay, Cancers not playing around. We're like, we're jumping out here. Okay, just reminds me of one of my subscribers who um, said, Cancerians don't like change. Of course, it's more than just a sun sign that we have going on, but it just reminded me. So hello, if you're watching. <laughs> we have past life relationship. You have known each other before, and this could be the one. So what I'm feeling here is when you've met the one in your life, uh, for want of a better term, it is hard to let go and this is why I was uh, thinking of that uh, subscriber who commented um, because they said they don't like change. We do have many soulmates in life and many lessons to learn as we all know but when we become codependent on hold on to things that are no longer serving us or good for us we can become quite stagnant. Now March is about new life, new beginnings and exciting things right so we don't want to let I guess that codependency or fear hold us back that negative view of change. Um, it seems here you have a past life relationship with this person and a strong bond that's why there is this codependency issue. Now, even if you're not together, don't want to be together or eventually will be together. The key is to let go. What is meant to be will always be for you. It's never going to pass you by. So fear then, only this codependency, fear, dis turns into the devil card turns into that Nine of Swords worry energy, especially at this time of year with all these planets clustered in Aquarius. It turns into that Nine of Swords overthinking and not sleeping and wondering why did I meet this person then? Why did we share this many lifetimes together? Why do we have this connection if we're not going to be together, if I'm here by myself? What's going on? And then we hold on even tighter because we feel it in our soul, in our water, right, Cancerians? that we're meant to be with this person. So we hold on even tighter. Makes the energy even harder to overcome, if you like. Let's see what we have. Seven of Pentacles. So we're in this, what I call, negative waiting energy. You're waiting and waiting, but you're also holding on to this codependency and fear. So nothing happens, no matter how much energy you put in and how much you try to manifest this, it doesn't come in. No matter how much gardening you do, how much prep and spiritual work you do, no matter how many general readings you do, it's nothing's happening. Because the change has to start with you and it has to start with that letting go of fear. Ten of Wands, there we go, there's that letting go. There's that ending this cycle that you're in, that maybe you've been in for many lifetimes, waiting on one another, fearing letting go of each other. So one of you makes a break and runs for it. And the other stays there out of fear that if they transition into um, what might be next, it might not be that person. So they end up stuck. So if this is a person who's broken away from you, let go of the burden of this past life relationship together. It can be that um, they fear what's, you know, what if I just surrendered and, you know, became all becoming of this person? What would happen? So they, they, they let fear lead them down another path. It's not right or wrong. We can take any path. We have free will. But they go and they carry that burden with them and you end up waiting and nothing happening. So it is still this codependent on each other. They're still longing and wanting to be with each other, but maybe fear here holding us back. So this seems like advice here, the Empress. It's just what I said to you whatever's meant for you cannot pass you by allow it to come to you naturally don't feel letting anything go don't put in something don't put energy into something where you're not getting anything back because you're sort of fulfilling their needs energetically so they can keep going and keep struggling on up this path and maybe even never get to this tower moment and this realization or this spiritual awakening because you're sending them energy and strength 
what you need to do is let go of this burden. Let go of holding on to this person. Okay, if they left, even if they took all the ones with you and you got one wand here and you're trying to reach out to them and they're not looking back, just let all these wands fall down to the floor. Let them carry that burden on their own. Let them feel the loss of you. All of you, energetically, all of you. So embrace the energy of the Empress here, like whatever is mine is coming to me. Whatever is desiring me, is uh, whatever I'm desiring is desiring me. I'm not going to keep chasing or focusing on energy that's sending me nothing back because it keeps them propped up. So no more are you going to prop somebody up for free. They have to return the energy and return to you or leave your life and make space for new energy. Queen of Wands. So you've got to take action now, okay? Whether you want to be with them, don't want to be with them or want somebody new, you've got to take action in clearing this past energy. Like I said, don't fear that if you clear this past energy of what's been that you're letting go of a person, you're not. But if you are stagnant in an energy here, which we see the Seven of Pentacles, it, it will eventually bring more um, difficulties and challenges into your life. It can be this is a job. You put everything into it and you fear letting go of this job because it brings in a certain amount of pentacles to keep the bills paid. You know, to help you maybe look after other people and do a little bit here, but it's quite stressful and it's a big project that you're trying to embark on that never really gets to those 10 pentacles. The same applies. Be this empress energy. Um, take on things that are creative, that you love, that you get good energy back from. Three of Pentacles, yes, that we was talking about working. But it's also about building together, right? You want somebody who's putting the same energy into you. Not somebody who's taking all your energy and then going. That's like almost dependent on your energy and you have this codependency going on waiting. So it might be that when you was in the relationship, they were dependent on you or you dependent on them. And then when it's separated, there's this codependency. It's almost an addiction to um, a fairy tale romance, if you like. There seems to be all the characters here. You are the good person. This is the bad witch. You know, this is the person who ran away. This is the gardener out there. That <laughs> Maybe a different story, but hey. Yeah, the hanged man. You have to look at these things differently. This is when we stop. This is when we're paused and we're stuck, right? You've got to look at this past life relationship. You're sort of stuck in a cycle with this person. Like we meet, we feel the connection and we almost fear it. So we let it go and we carry it with us. It seems easier to carry all this burden. It might be that you have a sort of belief that anything that's worth having is going to take hard work. When actually the universe wants to bring abundance to us very easily, effortlessly. That's the Empress energy, effortlessly. So you need to look at things from a different perspective here. You can't be the one that's putting in all the work and you can't not put in work, right? And give energy in a relationship. It's got to be this give and take of this beautiful exchange of energy. Three of Swords. It's like hurting yourself over and over again. This person is hurt about you, is heartbroken about you. I feel like you guys have been in love so many lifetimes that it's become overwhelming in this lifetime. That three of so it's so painful. It could have been the worst heartache of your life even here. Could have been, yeah, I was just going to say, it could have been a third party situation um, with these threes and then comes the seven. So it's got to a point where, you know, we're in love all these lifetimes, but now I'm deceiving myself because they've deceived me. It's um, knocked my confidence. It's knocked my faith. I've had to go through an awakening and that awakening. Okay, so when you wake up, you see things from a different perspective on this hangman. What would you just What would you expect this hangman to do? It's like fall off the tree and land on the floor. That's, that's what I'm feeling here. Somebody just falling down and being hurt. That might be a separate message for some as well. So do be careful if you're climbing trees. Who's climbing trees at our age, right? Um, but it's saying, you know, 
when you do fall, you t when you fall from grace, it kind of hurts, right? When you're up on your high horse, higher the horse, the further to fall. So it might be that you're holding on because you don't want to fall down. And this Piscean energy at the beginning of March is really vulnerable, feminine energy. We can see these queens here, the empress, this nurturing, beautiful, feminine energy asking us to be vulnerable, to go there, to feel the hurt and accept that we was lied to, cheated on, deceived in some sort of way. Only then can you build yourself back up off the floor, stand up from the tree and see things from a different perspective. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. Only then can things change. Yes, this is your person. You've been in love eternally, without a doubt, and always will be. Every lifetime, if you don't sort it out in this one, you'll come back and meet in the next. The wheel of fortune, the only th way to turn this around, to turn the seven of pentacles and add these three pentacles together is change things, change how you're looking at things, change how your action, your approach to things, how you're seeing things. We can't continue to put energy and effort in with no result back and expect a change. Nine of wands. So it can make you quite defensive, quite bitter against love and tainted and relationships and stuff. To just remember, um, when protecting ourselves, because it seems like when, when they start to drop a wand here, this person, when they feel your energy pull away and start to drop wands, out of 10 wands, they, one wand is away. It makes them feel vulnerable. Um, that's that Piscean energy that I was talking about, that feminine energy. Um, so the more you try to go towards them, the sort of more they want to block you out because they're feeling vulnerable and they don't know here. They can't see what direction you're coming from. They're already hurt, but you don't know it because they could have been the one that cheated here. They could have been the one that had the mistress or whatever the word is for a guy. Boom. They're going to go through their tower moment here. And I mean, they're scared of it. They're fearful of going through the t change here, the transition, to step over to the other side. Because they know it's hurting. But you've already gone through this hurt and holding on hurts. And, you know, it's not bringing union if we're just holding on and s staying in one place in that hurt. It's not changing anything, not even the hurt. So we've got to heal this energy. The tower is to redirect you, not to bring your life down, not to make you more vulnerable. If we open up and understand, my heart's hurt. I was lied to, I was cheated on. Okay, I need to change this. I'm not going to experience this again in my lifetime or the next lifetime. I want to understand the lesson here and change my approach, not be so guarded now. Because of course it could be you that's guarded. It's you that's fearing letting somebody in and letting this change in. Because, you know, I spoke about the person who commented about change. It's scary, right? Everybody fears change. Because it's the unknown. Even if it's a change for the better, it looks like this, all scary. But look at the Wheel of Fortune. The change is saying, hey, I want to take you away from this. Why are you guarded against this change? Three of Cups. I knew it was the Three of Cups anyway. I knew it was coming um, <laughs> with the other threes here. Because all, all of that that you're holding back from, that you're scared of the change, and um, it's all leading to this Three of Cups, this beautiful energy, this happiness, this unity, this togetherness, this warmth, this love, this celebration, this family, this hope. It's good news commitment things working out in your favor people always presume that change is this but actually it's this this is what's on the other side of the tower the only thing that i can tell you is certain in life is change it's constant everything's constantly changing so there's no possible way you could be heartbroken forever I just feel like you'll be in love eternally, but without these changes, you're staying stagnant here. You're staying in this tower moment and what happened and what didn't happen and what was said and what was not said. And then you relive the hurt 
and I'll tell you what happens when we relive that pain. Our body feels it on the same physical level as if it's the day it's happening. So we kind of, these negative thoughts can bring ne negative things to our body as well. So I do want you guys to be aware of that, okay guys? Spring Equinox will be on the 20th of March. As always, uh, my information for personal reading is in the description box. Good luck, guys.